Today we will talk about pharaonic magic, which is the most dangerous magic. Let us learn about it. Egypt has been famous for thousands of years for magic, and magic was among the ancient Egyptians one of the important things in their lives. Rather, magic among the ancient Egyptians was linked to religion, and based on it. The status of the priests increased among the pharaohs by teaching them magic, and the most common magic among the ancient Egyptians was defensive magic, with the aim of expelling evil spirits. Despite the achievement of thousands of archaeological discoveries, and thousands of research conducted by scientists on the ancient Egyptian civilization, magic is still a secret for many people. Secrets of ancient Egyptian civilization, and mystery still surrounds the nature and essence of magic among the pharaohs. Some believe that the curse of the pharaohs, which is one of the ancient pharaonic mysteries whose truth no one has been able to reach until now, is linked to magic, which exceeds black magic, and it is a belief that anyone who disturbs the mummy of an ancient Egyptian person, especially if he was a pharaoh, will be cursed upon him. There was a lot of talk about it in the wake of Howard Carter's discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb. Several books and studies defined black magic as magic restricted to priests and not the common people, and it could not be learned except with the approval of the priests and under difficult conditions. As for white magic, it was intended to solve problems between couples and the close distance between them, to the point where it was impossible for one of them to look at anyone other than the other. On the other hand, black magic was used by priests to inflict punishment on people who did not offer sacrifices to the gods. These researches indicate that black magic rituals were performed in the Syriac language of the jinn. The Egyptians have known magic since time immemorial, and the Holy Quran says, and Pharaoh said, bring me every knowledgeable magician. This verse makes it clear that magic was an ancient science, and magicians were scholars in ancient Egypt. Indeed, the Quran described the magic that Pharaoh's magicians did as science. A large number of research indicates that Egypt is the first cradle from which the rituals of indoctrination or initiation rituals emerged, which are mysterious rituals whose purpose was to prepare candidates for the priesthood. It appears that the initiation rituals were conducted by a certain type of secret priests, most of whom were magicians and soothsayers. According to the book, A Madness Called the Pharaohs, by Egyptian archaeologist Dr. Zahi Hawass, the ancient Egyptians protected their eternal journey with various types of magic. We often see on the walls of tombs texts that are not completely understood and words that do not give a useful meaning. These are undoubtedly magical texts that were created for a specific purpose. It is to protect the grave and its owner, and these words may have lost their magical power, after the ancient Egyptian language and writing disappeared, and these texts may also still retain their hidden magical power within them. Hawass explained that among these texts are what is known as the pyramid texts. They are religious and magical hymns recorded on the walls of the burial chambers located under the pyramids of kings and queens since the late era of the 5th dynasty in particular and the era of King Wanes (2356-2323 BC). It is believed that there is still a long way to know and solve the mysteries of the pyramid texts, despite their discovery. A century ago, in these texts there were talismans that the king had to memorize and recite in order to pass through the gates of the other world and save himself from snakes and all predatory creatures that stood in his way. These talismans also gave him the ability to use the sun's rays as ropes to ascend to the top. What is strange is that the hidden magical energies in the texts of the pyramids, it can be touched by watching how the words and letters that were recorded on these texts are carved. When depicting a man, we find that the head and limbs do not connect to the torso, as if we are in front of a human being whose limbs and head have been cut off. When depicting snakes of various kinds, we find that there are two methods of implementation, either through the engraving of the body of snakes not connected to the head, or the engraving of serpents and snakes, with a knife placed over the head of each of them. Hawass mentions that there are what scholars call curse texts, which are another type of magic that the ancient Egyptians wrote on the facades of tombs, threatening anyone who dares. On entering their graves with the intention of evil and torment, one of the women indicated on the walls of her grave that whoever tries to bring evil to her grave, 
the hippopotamus will devour his bones, the crocodile and the lion will eat his flesh, and the venom of cobra snakes will spread through his body. According to the same book, there is a famous papyrus that talks about that priest who was surprised by his wife's betrayal of him, so he waited until the unfaithful young man went down to the water to wash, and the priest put a small wax crocodile in the water, which quickly turned into a huge crocodile that devoured the young man, as confirmed by Dr. Zahi Hawass. There are many stories about magic and magicians in the world of the pharaohs, including the story of Khufu and the magicians, and the story of King Sneferu, father of Khufu, with the magician who split the water for him so that a girl could find her bracelet that had fallen into the water. As the Egyptian archaeologist mentioned in his article entitled, The Deadly Magic of the Pharaohs, was published in February 2015. An inscription dating back to the Greek era related to the one called Petasiris, asking visitors to his tomb to perform religious rituals for him properly instead of violating them, and threatening those who do evil with strict punishment, and stated that if the aggressors are not punished on earth they will be punished in the afterlife after death. And one of the most beautiful things that was found is that at the entrance to one of the cemeteries a person was found standing with a large stick. In his hand indicating to hit anyone who would harm